welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the cancer sun moon and rising sun i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back i love you cancer so much i also have cancer um rising in my birth chart so that's why i always love you cancer so much plus i am a cancers are one of my um, um the best person to marry to so strange but yes <laughs> so um love you cancers thank you for being here thank you for being back please like share these videos and thank you for the wonderful support that you cancers have been really supporting me please go and listen to the third quarter reading because in the month of september you will receive messages that is going to be helping you in this in the month of september to come okay um, the week is a wheel of fortune so it's a fire week but you have the zodiac energy of hurt that is going to help you out now um, there are two major arcanas that I've read I've seen in your reading and on Wednesday you have the Sun and the lover so this is good it's all about um, 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 connecting with a past life relationship soulmate and twin flame and um, on a um, Monday you have the Knight of Cups which could be yourself so if you're between the ages of 25 and 40 there could be a situation with your relationship that is happening some of you could be meeting your twin flame or your soulmate on Monday now uh, it doesn't be, have to be on Monday because this is a general reading it could be any time in the week now you um, um, some of you could be connecting also with a, a woman um, this um, it's this could be a mom um and um or this could be um a soulmate a twin flame or soulmate that is an aries leo or sagittarius this is a wonderful relationship this is the relationship um of a lifetime go for it so um if you um cancers and that's kind of weird because um you're connected with the capricorns the virgo and the um the capricorns and the taurus is so this is kind of weird but anyway um this could be a past life situation that you're you have chose each other to come back um it's something um that is going to be good it's going to be a wonderful relationship why is this happening it's going to be a wonderful relationship a lot of fire is coming out a lot of passion a lot of love and that sort of a thing thursday crowning of the week um you need to take some rest um it's as if this powerful relationship that is coming in some of you are going to decide to take this Friday is going to be fabulous so Friday is going to be fabulous some of you could be meeting um, your twin flame on Friday it could be someone an older woman over the age of 40 and this person could be and Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this is going to be passion fire sparks <laughs> we can you have at the weekend um, especially on Saturday things are going to be very clear about this lady it's as if you know that this lady is the person for you whoever this lady is it's as if some of you are going to know that yes this is the person I've been waiting for a very long time okay now whatever the situation is is that some of you are going to be seeing a situation about the king of one now the king of ones could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius it could be a leo because the energy of the sun is here the leos and the um and the aries carry the energy of the sun so for some people it's a leo for some people it's an aries you need to have a break you want to take a break from this man you want to get rid of this man you don't this man could be a brother or a friend or a business partner you are so disgusted with this man you're seeing the truth about this man um, this man could be the person who has um, broken up the relationship a soulmate relationship that you had this could be the man that came in and broke up a relationship it could be your brother or your friend that you listen to and now you're realizing that they have come between there's a lot of worries some of you have a, a lot of worries about your relationship with this lady okay so it's as if you have met this lady some of you have met this lady some of you have met this lady and you were um, in a relationship with this lady and um, it's as if you push or you did something you say something wrong and now you're seeing what has transpired 
and this woman as you know moved on with her life or she just moved away from you and you know you're worried because you're not seeing her you can't let go of her your heart is so stuck with her and I'm receiving the energy that this person is um, you are so in love with this person this person um, you knew from the beginning that this is the love of your life that this is who you wanted to be with and now things are so clearly and you're worried that you will not see this person anymore you're very very worried about that now seven of ones is here where um, you know it's as if now you're seeing the truth of a situation that you fucked up <laughs> sorry but you did you are seeing that this woman was you know was the woman the person that you wanted to share your life with and this woman just whatever you did whoever let you did this was uh, either a brother a friend or um, a father or a father figure but it was someone and you're like I just need I, I need to protect myself from you I need to listen to my own intuition next time I'm going to listen to my own intuition it's as if you have listened to your brother or this man whoever this man is it's as if this man enter your life and you listen to him and now you're seeing that the the decision that you made was the wrong decision and you are missing this person okay and you're missing this person you're trying um you know to work with the situation with this person but as as if you know you know just let me be this is what you're you're basically saying just let me be because you know you've ruined something for me uh, you just felt as if whoever this person um is or was um whoever this man is it could be a psychic man or so and it's as if some of you were in a relationship with the soulmate with um and it was so good it was positive you messed up and then you go to someone and try to get them back and it's not working it's not working and as if the person is saying hey how is it going as you know you know have you seen her in this and it's as if whatever the person did it just pushed them away it did, just didn't work and you know you're kind of pissed off because you thought oh I thought this person was good to bring back this person to me or to make this person love me like I love them and it's just not happening and you're like you know it's like the person is trying to call you and work the situation out and you're like I'm not spending any more money because it didn't work in the first place so um, let me let it be but you're so worried because you're worried because it's as if you think that whoever you did this to um, this woman or this person is as if she knows about it and you know you feel as, as if now God um, I wonder if she knows about it shit you know you as is it that's why um, she hasn't connected with me so um, it's as if someone told you to do something to get this person but it didn't work okay um, you're trying to leave this person behind you're trying to forget this person you're trying to um, accept the situation and forget this person and move on but it is as if it is the hardest thing it is the hardest thing for you because you wish you didn't have done what you have done because um, let me have a sip of water you wish you had done what you had done because this person you wish you have never done what you have done because this person meant a lot to you and you have listened to someone who's an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and this person you worked with this person and you know you're trying to get back this person but it didn't work you listen to this person and this person lied to you and now you're seeing it and you're trying to forget this person and move on but it is the hardest thing to do it is the hardest thing to do because it's as if this person has taken a piece of your heart and it's not it's, it's not the easiest thing to just move forward in your life because this woman still holds a place in your heart and um, it's not someone that the oh yeah god damn it <laughs> oopsie daisy <laughs> okay 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So you men have realized that you have made the business, biggest mistake. There's the worries. You've made the biggest mistake in your life and you're trying to move on, but you can't move on because your heart is as if you have gave your heart to someone and you can't take it back and you can't have this person because of some stupid thing that you did. You're seeing that you made a stupid move. You're seeing that you have made a dumb move with this person. It was someone who was such a, um, it was really your soulmate. You met this person that was hot, passionate. You loved the relationship. You were so in love with this person and whatever it is, someone came in and talked you out of it. And now you have lost this person and your heart is broken. You're, you're constantly thinking about it and you're hoping to move forward. But it's as if you can't move forward because this person still holds your heart and it's, it's something, it's as if you are trapped in moving forward because um, whoever this person is, they are your twin flame. And you know, you know, the day you met them, that they were your twin flame and you can't let it go. It's as if you can't stop whatever is happening and the momentum, your heart is still with that person and they have just left because of something stupid you did something that was stupid or you thought about something that was stupid or you did something that was stupid and now you're seeing uh, this happening how comes this is smoky quartz um so clear negative energy release negative energy from you or around you so you can use the smoky quartz you can go buy the smoky quartz so all of um, you know, if you're listening to your son reading or your cross listening to your partner's reading, um, look for the, the, um, all the crystal and you can also go get the crystal. Okay. And another thing to do is, um, whenever it says clear negative energies, it's calling up an Archangel Gabriel supervisor of tone, element master, fire, 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 salamander and the fire dragons to clear your energies, um, and seal you off with pure light. Call upon St. Germain Archangel Zachiel to place the gold and silver violet flame in your aura, clearing you and um, of lower energies and um, also sealing you off. Call upon Archangel Michael to put the blue and purple light of protection over you also. And this is going to be good. Okay. So not to worry. Everything is going to be okay. Um, your heart is broken because you knew when you met this person that they were your soulmate. You knew it from the beginning and now um whatever is as if some of you have listened to a friend a brother or an a someone who is of negative energy this person could be a leo or an aries that came in and talked you out of the situation and now you have left with a broken heart that you try to move forward but there's no way you can move forward because as you'll notice it's as if your heart was stolen and you can't let this go i'm so sorry guys I hope you can release yourself and sometimes it is better to reach out to the person. Um, what I'm receiving is that the person has changed their number and you can't connect with a person and, um, you know, go, go to some place, a family member of the person, ask them and they will help you, um, you know, try and reconnect with this person so that you can talk this out and you can release your heart okay um namaste and i will speak to you guys next week